So, I messed up. I did not create the files that I'm recording right now in the proper format for my video player. So I'm just going to re-record them by just playing the video player. Okay, so this is just a quick video on uh, how to install Docker on Windows 10 Home. So we have a little section of code here that I found someone else made. So we're just going to use that. Um, the link for that is uh, the Docker forums and installing Docker on Windows 10 Home. So there's a couple comments here that were worth uh, writing down. So I copied those and we're gonna start from there. So the first thing you should probably do is go into your BIOS. Well, no, the first thing you should do is this, sorry. So you can go see what you have in system information. Scroll down at the bottom and if you have these in here, that's great. So I didn't have virtualization, that was turned off. So I had to go into the BIOS and turn it on. It was in the advanced settings and it was just called virtualization. Now it is called something different on Intel. There was another video on that and if I edit this video, I could probably put it on there and link it. Anyways, so uh, just Start your computer, go in your BIOS, and find your virtualization and turn it on. So, the next thing that we need to do is install the Hyper-V components. Because those are enabled, I don't even know if they're actually there, but they said they ran this script, so I'm going to run the script. We need to make a bat foil and run it as admin. Alright, cool. We'll delete this. And we'll launch this. What is all this? Because I didn't do it as admin. There we are. So again, while that works, the script for this is this. Now I don't expect you to copy and paste this. I will link it below. And then we're going to do one more after that and it's installing containers feature too. Um, but the user doesn't know if it's required. But I mean I'm going to do it because I want it to work. Do you want to restart the computer? No. Okay. So now I'm going to enter this one. I'm going to save that bat so we can just reuse it for the containers. And I forgot to launch it as admin again. We're going to restart. Yeah. I'll be right back. So what we are going to watch right now is the clip for editing the BIOS. So this is the BIOS part of the video um, for initializing the Hyper-V virtualization. So this is uh, my BIOS. Hey, it's the fairly standard old one. So we just go to advanced BIOS features and then we go to virtualization here and enable it. Now I have an AMD stuff so it might be different on Intel but I can uh, link you to a video or just give you the rough location. In fact I'll just probably put it like right here. Alright and then save and quit by escape moving over to the right and not hitting this one but the one above it right here so we're just going to grab docker for windows
that's cool. So it looks like we still need to download the package and whatnot. So in the meantime, oops. So this is what happens when you don't have Pro, right? Because we're doing this on home. So there's a couple ways, um, but we're going to do it a slightly easier way. So we're going to go into reg edit yeah alright and then we're gonna go find a key in H key local machine so here and then it's gonna be under software and then it's gonna be under Microsoft sorry give me a second right here and then it's going to be under Windows NT alright scroll all the way down Windows NT right here alright and then under Windows NT it'll be under current version and then in here we need to change the addition colon ID core and we're going to change that to professional addition ID so E Addition ID. So we've got core here. Let's double click this. No. Modify. There we go. So we need to change this to professional. That's not how you spell professional. Alright. And then we hit OK. And then we need to change the, the product name, Windows 10 Home, to Windows 10 Pro. So right here. So we're just going to change this to Pro. Uh, again, the thing I found says uh, he's not totally sure or she's not totally sure if this uh, Windows product name is needed, but we're going to change it because they got it to work, right? So, with that said, I think everything's changed. So let's launch it again. And this should work. Perfect. So add shortcuts to desktop. I don't know. I've never used Docker before. Uh, use Windows containers instead of Linux containers. We will leave that as that because honestly, I don't know. Installing. Perfect. Uh, you must log out of Windows. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, so now we've just finished the restart after installing the Hyper-V files. Um, and I've already installed Docker, so I'm going to double click on it this time and see what, how it goes. So I don't think we want automatically checking for updates. I think that was giving someone problems. Uh, get out of here. Come on. Please. Okay, here we go. Docker is now up and running. And I am running Windows 10 Home. Right there. So, um... Always make sure that you reset your registry keys back to home from pro and the other one as well that we changed. Now mine reset once I rebooted, so that was cool. So I guess now it's time for me to figure out how Docker works. <laughs> 